What's up, world? Welcome back to another episode of our Game Guy series. This time, we'll be talking about seasons, and this topic hits a bit close to home for me, as you'll see later. But I'm excited to be able to discuss this topic with you all today. So, what are seasons? Well, it's basically an update mode on top of the base game that brings about new and exciting ways to play the game. Seasons will last for approximately three months. For those unfamiliar with the way action RPGs typically do seasons, think of it like new content based around a theme similar to expansions, but on a smaller scale that sticks around for a few months. After a season ends, a new season starts after a short break to replace the previous one, creating long-term replayability. The first Diablo 4 season, Season of the Malignant, begins on July 20th and you're going to want to make sure you complete the campaign with at least one character before Season of the Malignant begins. Then you can create a new character on the Seasonal Realm and skip the campaign to access the new quest line and more. I'll talk more about that in a minute. Here are a few things you can expect to see in Seasons. Seasonal Quest Lines. These are storylines separate from the campaign that guides you through the new seasonal theme, introducing new characters, and quests as you are adventuring. Each season introduces new gameplay mechanics that go beyond just balance changes that will change the way that you approach your builds. Much like the season journey from Diablo 3, Diablo 4 brings back the season journey where you can complete a variety of objectives as you progress, split into different chapters to earn rewards, which can help the leveling process or further boost your character. You can even earn new aspects separate from the ones you'd find in the Codex of Power that can spice up your builds as well as earn favor, which is used to progress your seasonal battle pass, offer boosts to speed up your leveling experience, and additional character customization options. In addition to balance changes, each season will bring about quality of life changes that will give you a better Diablo experience. Also, expect new transmogs from items as well as the new cosmetics and shops to really give your character a look to set yourself apart from the rest of the adventurers. One of the biggest things you will come across in Seasons is the new Battle Pass. The Diablo 4 Battle Pass awards cosmetics and premium currency as you play and progress through the game. It's important to note that these cosmetics do not affect your character stats in any way, meaning you will not miss out on any armor or weapons. Completing objectives in the season journey allows you to earn favor, which progresses you through the free battle pass. As you progress, you collect smoldering ashes, which can be used to boost the rate at which you gain experience, gold, resources, and more in game. As for the battle pass itself, there are three versions, free, premium, and accelerated. The free version has 27 tiers and rewards players with cosmetic items and smoldering ashes a resource that can be spent on experience, gold boosts, and other bonuses for your seasonal character. These boosts come with level requirements and are only available from the free battle pass. The premium battle pass has 63 more tiers, which reward you with cosmetic unique to that season and platinum currency that can be spent at the game shop. The accelerated pass is the same, but allows you to skip for 20 tiers and comes with a special cosmetic. While the Accelerated Battle Pass allows for tier skips, you still have to meet the required character level to access Smoldering Ashes for bonuses towards your seasonal character. In short, you cannot simply pay for boost. These seasonal offerings are great and do a good job of spicing up the base game, but to partake in the full experience of each season, you'll need to create a seasonal character. Some players new to action RPGs and Diablo may be asking, why do I have to make a new character? And what about the work I just put into this character? And this was me when I first started playing Diablo 3. <laughs> I could not have been more wrong. Creating a new seasonal character allows for the game to feel new and exciting more often with everybody starting fresh to experience the new features at the same time. I forgot what it was like to find upgrades on a regular basis as my eternal character was already fully geared and upgrades came once in the blue moon. It was fun to use skills that I never thought I'd use again simply because they didn't scale well in the previous build and was a blast to use throughout the leveling as I found legendaries to complement their power. Additionally, it'll be easier to level and acquire loot this time around 
because now you have the experience that you did not have before when you were first leveling up. In addition to the boost provided through Smoldering Ashes and the new powers you will unlock, map discovery and altars will not need to be collected again if you've already done so. This is as easy as it gets when it comes to starting a new character or a seasonal journey. What about my eternal character? Any characters you've created will never be lost. Each character you've created, including your current characters, will always be playable in the eternal realm after a season ends. You can play at any time you please, you just won't be able to interact with the seasonal content. Eternal realm characters will still benefit from all the game's balance changes and quality of life updates, just like the seasonal characters. And this concludes this episode of our Game Guys series. Thanks for having me back, and I'll see you in Sanctuary in the upcoming season.